Welcome back guys. Today I'll be solving a first order differential equation, finding the general and particular solution. Let's get started. Is the first order differential equation that I will be solving. Now y prime, I will change it as dy over dx. Now solving this, I will be using the method separation of variable. When I am solving this, I am first going to find the general solution, then the particular solution since I am given when x is 3, y is ln 81. That's what it means. Now, separation of variable means getting x on the right and y on the left. So I'll be carrying the dx over the equal sign. So what I'm left with is dy times x ln x is equal to y times dx. Now the next step is to get x ln x over to my right. So to do that, I will divide both sides by x ln x. Now I will put it below the dx since I need to get rid of the y on this side. So I will have dx over x ln x. Now those two cancel so I'm left with dy is equal to y dx times x ln x. Now getting rid of y, so I divide both sides by y. The y cancels, so I'm left with dy over y is equal to dx over x ln x. Now, this is the same as 1 over y dy, so the next part I can rewrite it as 1 over a ln x dx. Now, after writing this, I can rewrite 1 over x ln x as a different expression. Let's discuss this further. Now, 1 over x times ln x is the same as 1 over x all over ln x. Now, how is that so? I can work this part out to show that it's the same as 1 all over x ln x. This that I've circled is the same as 1 over x. The line means division, and then we'll have ln x. Once I change division here to multiplication, then I know I'll have to reciprocate the ln x, meaning it becomes 1 over x. So writing this, I'll have multiplication. Then this part becomes a fraction, 1 over ln x. We flip it. Multiplying 1 times 1, that's 1. And x times ln x, that's x ln x. Now I can go ahead and rewrite this part as 1 over x ln x and it is the same thing so i have 1 over x and then ln x in the denominator dx now i can go ahead and integrate both sides since i have y on the left and x on the right so i've separated the variables the integral of 1 over y is ln y and the integral of this, remember, for log functions, when we integrate, it has to be in the fraction form where the derivative is in the numerator. So when I have it in that form, it becomes ln fx, whatever function is in the denominator. So this 2x is the derivative of x squared plus 1, so it's in the general form. So the integral of this will be ln and the function in the denominator is x squared plus 1 plus c. So if I have another example, say 3x squared over x cubed plus 1, when I integrate this, because the derivative is in the numerator, 
differentiate x cubed plus 1 is 3x squared. I can go ahead and integrate this to see it is ln x cubed plus 1 plus my constant c. So once it's in the general format where the derivative is in the numerator, then I can go ahead and integrate to get an ln function. So that's the case here. Differentiate ln x is 1 over x. So the integral of this is ln and then the function in the denominator, which is ln x. Now I'll put a modulus sign here plus c. No. Now this is our general solution, but we can rewrite it in a different form. Now something that we need to note before we proceed is that e to the power ln x is the same thing as x. Also, we can note that ln e is 1. So I am going to rewrite ln as log base e. So this is log base e, and I am going to apply the rule that says we can change this equation into exponential form, where e will be the base, and all of this on my right will be the power, and it will be equal to the letter y. So doing this, I will have y is equal to because this is the y, and changing it to exponential form, the base is e. So that is why I have equal e, and all of this will be my power. So I'll have ln modulus ln x plus c. Now, I can rewrite this part. So this becomes e to the ln, ln x, and I'll not forget my modulus. Let me just rewrite that in, modulus ln x, plus c. So the plus c will be e to the c. So this is just applying laws of indices. When we multiply, we add the power, same base. So if I do the reverse, you'd have see that I'll get e, then adding the power. So just splitting it, so it becomes e to the ln, ln x. And then looking at the rule that I've introduced, this will be gone. So all I'm left with is just the ln x that is within the modulus sign. So this will be gone. So I will have y is equal to ln x e to the c. Now this is a general solution along with ln y, ln, ln x plus c. So both of these are the general solution, just two different ways to write the general solution. Now I'm given a condition, so that's going to assist me in finding the particular solution, let's call that PS, where we're given x and y. x is 3 and y is ln 81. Now substituting into the general solution, you could use any one, I decide to use this one. So I'll have y to the ln 81 equal ln 3e to the c. Now divide both sides by ln 3. So I divide both sides by ln 3. The ln 3 cancels here. So ln 81 divided by ln 3 will give us 4. So e to the c is equal to 4. Now having this, I don't have to go further. I could just replace e to the c there as 4. Now instead of writing the 4 behind the ln x, I am going to write at the front. So I will have y equal 4 ln x. It's the same thing as writing ln x 4, but I just don't want it to look like it's 4x.
Now, ln rule is saying that we can rewrite this as a power. So this is the same as ln x to the fourth, and this is our particular solution, y equal ln x to the fourth, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.